Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use mouse keys together with remapping to gain a lot of fletching XP, up to 5 million per hour. So first we have to look at the rules because when I showed this in the last video how I use it, a lot of people told me I'm going against the rules here. So here are the most recent clarification changes to mouse keys from old school RuneScape. This was posted on January 25th, 2017. So it's quite old, but it's still the most recent one. So here the bold text says everything we need to know. You may now only use your operation system's official default mouse key program. Okay, we are going to do that. Unless it's going, it is to remap a key to another button or to any other button. So we are actually going to use both of this. We are using our operation system's official default mouse key program. And then we are remapping the buttons to any other button so we can actually use it better. So let's get into it, how we set everything up. First, I will start with showing you how to set the mouse keys up. So first, this guide will be for Windows 10. So if you run any other version of Windows, it still works probably but it's slightly different and I can show it for different operation systems because I don't own them. But on Windows 10, you type in ease in the access bar on Windows and you choose the ease of access settings. So here in the ease of access center, you scroll down so you can see interaction and there you choose mouse. Here you turn on the mouse keys. Here you can change the pointer speed and we're going to do that later on to figure out what speed is needed. Then we need to choose keyboard and under keyboard we have to use sticky keys. So we have to turn those on and then we have to choose the option lock the modifier key when pressed twice in a row. After this we should be good to go and our Windows mouse keys should be working. So let's test them out. So first we have to press the control key twice to lock it in. So once, twice. So now control should be locked in. So pressing of five on the, this numpad is a click now. Pressing the two moves it down. Pressing on five is a click again. Pressing on five is a click. Pressing on eight moves it up. And pressing on five is a click again. So. If we were actually fast at this, we could make darts in a reasonable speed. But it would be much better if the buttons were next to each other, like SDF and LKJ, so we could do it really fast. Or just four buttons right next to each other that do this pattern. And luckily, we are allowed to remap the mouse keys. So now I'm going to explain that how we are going to do that. So next up, we need a program to remap. I use AHK for remapping. I'm not using AHK for movement. Again, don't use AHK for movement. It's against the official rules. But you can use AHK for remapping of buttons and we are going to use it for that. So you can go to autohotkey.com and download it there. Since I already have it on my computer, I'm not going to download it again, but it's quite easy to install. And as far as I know, it's safe to use because it's a program that's used in quite a bit of places and not only in old school RuneScape. So they aren't going for your old school RuneScape gold as far as I know. Like I've never heard of anyone getting hacked from this. So. So once you press the download button here, get yourself a version of 1.1. So the current version actually is 1.1 point something, so it should work. So just press download auto hotkey point zip or get yourself the auto key 1.1. I think that's the one at the top, but don't get yourself 1.0. It doesn't work with that. And I think it doesn't work with 2.0 either. So that should be it. So I hope that's helpful. Make sure that you have the version 1.1 before saying it doesn't work. Since AHK normally doesn't support the remapping of buttons that are used for mouse keys, we need to get ourselves a class underscore DD 
dot ahk thingy that will make it so ahk can do that so for that we need to go to this github link i actually tested it for viruses the thing in here on the online virus checker so i think it's safe it's also on my computer for like two months now and nobody stole my gp and i have loads of gp on my account so if it actually was malicious i think somebody would have done it but i think this is of a guy that doesn't even play old school runescape as well so it's not going to get your gp or trying to steal it so then we need to here download it by the way the link is in the description click download zip and then it will download it so now that we downloaded the class dd slash master we need to extract it so for that we go into the download folder and just extract it here i'm using 7zip but you can probably use a different program as well anything that does unzipping so then we copy it to the desktop so copy it and paste it on the desktop so now that our class dd slash master thing is on the desktop we double click it to open it and it should look like this inside so what we do now is right click or i'm clicking a bit more up right click new auto hotkey script we call it or i like to call my auto hotkey scripts aa at the beginning so they show up at the top of the task manager when i want to kill them so let's call it aa make darts then we do right click and we use open with notepad it looks like this inside we remove all this and we paste what i have in the description so this is like this so this means that when that at the top means that it includes this class so it can do the remapping of the numpad then I'm not sure what this does, but it's always in AHK scripts. So this means if you press Ctrl and S, it does a click. Ctrl and D, it does the numpress 2 or the numpad 2. Numpad 2 does that mouse keys move down. So if mouse keys are on, this would be a move down. Then Ctrl and F is a click. By the way, the control end is because you have control sticky keyed. So if you're just pressing F, it's control and F. So it always uses that. And then I have a pot on the top row. If I just want to use my left hand alone, it's for a full set of darts. If I press Q, it's a click. W, it's a move down. E is a click. And R is a move up. So same for the left hand starting at P for me. So um, I have the button A to disable and control and, and A to disable. So whenever I press this A with the double points on the term or on the Swiss keyboard, it's a button I rarely use when playing RuneScape. So just use any button you rarely use for disabling the script. So then we do file save and we close it so then we close it then we do right click and right click and compile script wait a bit and now right here we have our aa make darts so now with double click we can run it you need to press yes on the question if you want to run it. And then we can test it out in game what it does. Now, if you turned up off sticky keys, meanwhile, double press control again. And then if you press Q, it does a click. W, it moves down. E is a click. The distance is a bit short, so I have to move it down in the beginning. So Q is a click, W is a move down, E is a click, R is a move up again. So this would be darts like this. Still quite slow, but already quite good XP with only one hand. So then, of course, our AHK remapping script 
has the double-handed method in it as well. So I'll try to get my camera in a way so you can see one of the two hands, so you can see the left one. So if I press S, it, it clicks, D moves down, F clicks again. Then I'm moving my camera over to the right hand. So here I do L, K, J. And if I do that together, I can get insane XP per hour if I do it correctly. And this is completely legal. You can just see my right hand right now in the webcam because I can't get it to show both or I don't have a correct camera placement to show both. But you can see insane XP per hour. If you actually use um, dragon darts, you can use get up to 5 mil XP per hour with this method. And it's completely legal according to the rules of Jagex. So I don't think anyone will get banned for this because all it does is it remaps the numpad and the numpad is, is standard Windows mouse keys. So I hope this guide actually helped somebody. And if there are some bigger problems in this guide and it didn't work for some people, I will make an additional guide or put it in that sticked pinned comment. So read the pinned comment if something is not working. So to finish this video off, I have to give some shout outs. The first one is to Pai Suri for bringing the method up on YouTube. He made a guide on it some months ago and I only know about it because of that. So that was eight months ago, his guide, and only 1.4K people saw it. So I think it's only something that is used in the high level community so far. So only the people that go for Crystal Math Labs um, daily XP records, like one guy got 104 mil fletching XP in one day, I think. So that guy used that, I think. So. Really nice, thank you for that. Go to his channel and subscribe because he only has 836 subscribers on YouTube and all the content he makes is, uh, is insane shit how you can skill. For example, superheating, fire making and cooking at the same time. It's, it's ridiculous, you need to check it out. So his channel will be in the description too. Go there and check it out. So the second guy I want to shout out is Supreme at RS underscore Supreme because Paisuri said he made the video because he brought the method up or he at least helped in some form with the method. So I thought I should include his uh, Twitter thingy in here too. So you can go and follow him if you want to thank somebody for giving you that method too. So this is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Thanks and bye.